in the woods Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School out here at the Hunter's Camp in the class area of the school. I wanted to go over a little product review with you guys today on a couple of new items that we're carrying on our website. These are both axes and they're by Condor Knife and Tool. They have been specially designed, at least this one has been specially designed for the Pathfinder School. It normally comes with a shorter handle on it. We've had the handle extended on this to a 19, 20 inch handle, so we got a 23 inch overall axe. It's got a nice heavy duty head on it. It's hand forged, it's made out of 1045 high carbon steel. There's a small hatchet, very similar, almost exacting specifications of the Gransfors Brooks and the Wetterling small hatchet. Both of these hatchets have the Pathfinder logo embedded into the leather. I think that these leather pouches that come with these Condor axes are far superior to either Gramsters Brooks or Wetterlings, to be honest with you. Um, it has a nice heavy welt in it. The rivets in there are nice and heavy. It actually has an eyelet hole down here where you can put a lanyard of some sort so you don't lose the axe head if you want to. It's got a nice heavy duty strap on it and the strap and the snap system to me is heavier duty than the Gransfors or the Wetterlings, but especially what I've seen lately out of Wetterlings, the snap system on this head is a lot better as far as this axe cover goes. Now, you know, I've never been much for doing reviews on gear that's brand new. I do it once in a while if I'm introducing something and then I try to test it later on. But this axe, as you can see, is not brand new anymore. Um, this one's had the crap beat out of it by me and several other people. I wanted to give you a little bit of a demonstration today with this axe. I'm going to, I've got a big pile of stumps or end cuts from stumps that are mostly solid oak out here, red oak. And it's real thick and heavy stuff. It's also soaking wet because it's been raining in Ohio for a few days now, or I'm sorry, overnight. And it rained all day today. It just stopped raining a couple hours ago. So this stuff's pretty wet. Wet wood's gonna be harder to cut than dry wood is. Not gonna split as well. And oak is one of the hardest woods there is to try to cut. So I thought maybe we'd chop up a few of these end cuts today with this ax, just to show you the cutting power that it does have. Now, I did cut up a lot of end cuts over the last several days during a basic class out here. And I did sharpen this ax one time since then. Other than that, it hasn't been sharpened since it came out of the package. It's got a really nice blade profile on it. I do like this real heavy flat hammer pole on the back and it's got a nice big wide bit on the front of that axe. So let's do some cutting with it and see how she does. Okay, you can see I've got a few of them here that I've already cut. I'll lay them aside and we'll grab something a little bigger and beefier. Here's a nice heavy duty end cut right here. That's about eight or 10 inches high. You can see the fiber in that oak is really heavy duty. And it goes through that stuff like it's butter. Okay guys, so there's some pretty heavy chopping right there. Let's kind of look at this thing as far as just a little bit of carving goes. Let's grab a piece of uh, stuff that's been cut down. You see I worked with this a little bit. Let's pull this thing up and just kind of do some shaving on this branch. This is a green branch. It was cut down over the last couple of days out here. Let's play with that for a minute. Okay. Get this thing up and get it where we can work on it a little bit here.
nothing wrong with that you see those fine shavings there and fine carvings even on green wood and that's a hard wood but nothing wrong with that at all okay now to me guys you know the final test of an axe other than will it hold an edge does it do fine cutting and will it do heavy chopping it's got an American hickory handle on it I'm good to go there I want to know if this thing will throw sparks so that I can use this for fi starting fire with char cloth so let's see if we can get this camera angle somewhere where you can see if this thing's throwing sparks or not throwing sparks. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. She's definitely throwing sparks. Like I said, this is 1045. Not 1075 or 1095. But it is a high carbon steel. And I am getting some sparks off of it. Probably could use a little heavier duty piece of flint. But definitely got sparks coming off of it. So I'm pretty sure I could get that thing to light up some char cloth I had to. Okay guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School and I'm glad that you joined me for this video review real quick on these two Condor axes that we're carrying at the Pathfinder School website. This is the Scout Hatchet, just a small belt axe type hatchet to put in your haversack, whatever the case may be. I haven't beat this thing up at all yet, but it's made exactly the same with the same process as this Greenland axe is. I think the price on these things pretty common man this one's about 40 45 dollars and this one is somewhere around the 80 dollar range which is quite a bit cheaper than wetterlings or Gransfors. and to me you know this thing is probably just as good as a wetterlings as far as i'm concerned so far from what i've seen out of it i used it for four days during a basic class i used to chop some wood with today i've sharpened it up i've done a little bit of fine carving with it and i like the heavy duty hickory handle on it like i said it's got a nice hand forged blade with a big wide bit nice profile on it nice big heavy square hammer pole on the back and the leather pouch is really impressive to me and to me that should be the last thing you're worried about when you buy an axe is what kind of pouch comes with it or what kind of cover comes with it but the fact of the matter is you know a lot of the ones i see nowadays with great axes are garbage this thing is in really really good one it's heavy duty thick like saddle leather it's got some really nice big rivets in it like i said it does have one hole through it right here for a lanyard like a lace hole for a lanyard or whatever to attach it to the axe so you wouldn't lose it if you wanted to it's got a nice heavy duty snap on it condor made in el salvador not made in the usa not made in sweden but i thought we'd give them a chance and right now they've more than impressed me so I wanted to give you guys this product review today. I appreciate you joining me for this video. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thank you, guys.